YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Sneaker Flexibility coming back at you with another episode of Old Head Sneaker Closet. What do we have coming out of the closet today? We got knowledge. Knowledge about us. What's happening? What the? Be more. What are you doing here? <sighs> Bro, I. I don't know. I just. What's going to pop in? See how you doing. What's happening? What did you. Oh. Oh, you know what? I actually can use you. I can stay. Yeah, 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 I can use you. Okay, all right. How about I have you model some of the stuff we're talking about today? Oh, you know, you know I used to model, right? I used to get it. Hold on one second. Today, we're gonna talk about fashion. There are other things out there besides Supreme. So today we are featuring a couple pieces. We're gonna talk about them a little bit just to get you a little bit of an understanding of other things that are out in the market that you can possibly maybe grab, snag, pick up, or just if you're curious about it. Um, we will link down in the description all the information for the places that we have picked these pieces up at, um, and then you can do some research on your own. So, why don't we get right to it? Let's go. Is the Ronnie Feig, um Kith Star Wars Monday program. Typically every Monday, Kith will drop um, a Monday program that features a piece. This particular piece was a Star Wars piece. Why I wanna highlight Kith is they have extremely quality clothing. Um, Ronnie Feig is the founder of Kith. It was established um, on 11 11 11. Freaky because those are some weird numbers, patterns, and sequences. I digress. Um, this particular sweatshirt is 500 GSM fleece fabric. For those that don't understand what 500 GSM is, it stands for grams per square meter. So to break that down just a little bit more, if this was a tile, tiles usually run at 300 to 400 um, GSM. Um, so that is a particularly lightweight. So your heavy bath tiles are usually around 500 and up. So you can only imagine that this piece um, it's pretty heavy and the good thing about Kith's clothing is it's durable. So Be More is modeling that piece for us. You can see it's the uh, R2-D2 um, golden sweatshirt and it's just an all-around fire piece. Um, the camera doesn't do it just as where it picks up the heavy GSM. Um, but it's a particular item that will flex and move with you and you can wash it, you can wear it. Um, it's gonna hold up. And, and again, this is not a video bashing Supreme. This is a video that's giving you other options. I have to emphasize that. I don't want people walking away saying that um, Old Head uh, Sneaker Closet is out here bashing other brands. That's definitely not it. Uh, again, we'll link down in the description where you can pick these pieces up. The next piece is pronounced Subi, K-S-U-B-I. Um, it's an Australian label that was um, formed in 1999. Um, this particular piece that we picked up um, is somewhat, it's going to kind of parallel to the next garment, which is a CPO, um, Chef Chief Petty Officer, similar to CPO Chief Petty Officer, but this particular is a denim version. A CPO Chief Petty Officer it is a heavy, typically wool or denim overshirt um, made to layer um, a lot of the uh, ocean men or seamen, naval men, whatever you want to call it, wore these garments um, to help protect them from the weather. Uh, the one thing I like about Subi is they have these little fine details that you would not see on other items. It's not a flashy piece. It's not up in your face that you'll know it's Subi, um, but these little checks and crosses and marks on it um, just lets you know it's that brand. I'm even, even we'll pull out this cheetah sweater that we picked up from them. Um, it has the Subi marker around the left arm of the sweater. Um, 
website that you can pick up those pieces um, if they still if it's still available. Um, going along with that whole CPO coat is the uh, Stussy. Stussy uh, founded by Sean Stussy in 1980. Um, this is another chief petty officer um, wool shirt. We picked this one up at Atmos. Shout out to those guys at Atmos down at the Philadelphia store. Um, always cool people down there. Um, this particular garment that you see B more is wearing um, is again another piece that you can overlay your garment. Um, it's it's a heavy piece, uh, can be washed, worn, weared, beat up, and that's the good thing. And I think Supreme again market their clothing for skaters because they fell a lot and they beat up their clothes so it was something that you picked up even though it's a little bit more pricey than your typical garments it's something that's going to hold up um this next piece is a pair of sweatpants and uh, sweatpants are sweatpants however this is made by bristol studio bristol studio is an la based um clothing company this is another piece i picked up from free press um they i think their whole market is the unfinished quality taking delight in rough edges um, purposefully exposing seams um, these garments can be worn reversible um, and quote i quote there is no correct way to wear their clothing which is crazy but if you notice you look at b-more you can see how the pockets are exposed um, I'm not gonna have me more take his pants off and reverse it. We're not doing that. But trust me, these garments you can reverse um, and wear them whatever way you want. Like they say, there is no incorrect way to wear these pieces. Um, the garment um, is gray and has a little bit of off-white coloring to it. It probably could be worn with anything. Um, I had to get used to seeing this garment um it was a little odd but i i like it it's been holding up um so again free press down in the bottom description all that information um last but not least we're going to throw in a i would say a piece that people are already familiar with bbc billionaire boards club bbc is a brand started by pharrell and his um friend nigo um around in the 2003 um, this piece that you're actually looking at is um, their billionaires board club French Terry cotton um, crew neck uh, ter French Terry for those that don't know is typically 100% cotton um, but sometimes other fabrics it does feel like a little bit of uh, spandex is in that um, blended in with the cotton but BBC is an inexpensive brand that's not always <sighs> I don't want to say flashy. Some of the pieces are with the giant helmet, um, head, astronaut. Um, this this piece that I picked up is pretty low key. Um, but again, if you, if you're looking for high quality garments that are outside of just Supreme, well, I should say outside of. Um, I don't want to call Supreme teenage gear because we shouldn't put an age on clothing. Um, but these are pieces that aren't extremely flashy. These are pieces that not everyone is going to know what they are and they're pieces that you're going to get your money's worth out of um the the garments and that's the best thing you want your money to stretch and work for you so um again old head sneakers closet sneaker flexibility coming back at you with another episode um featuring be more this time we ain't kick them out but we will um Get out there and be great. Go out there and be greater. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button. Tell a friend. Tweet, retweet, do what you gotta do. All right, until next time.